So the New York Jets wait until the fourth round, pick 107 to address their backfield issues. Obviously, they have Michael P. Ryan back there from last year. They have Tevin Coleman as well. But that's still not a reliable group. So where do they get? They get Michael Carter, a running back from UNC. Some people viewed him as a top five running back in this draft class. He has over 2,000 rushing yards in the past two years at UNC, 1,000 yards each season. The concerns with him, he's very slight, he's much smaller, he's not a guy you're going to play as an every down back, he's not going to be able to face stacked boxes, or even elite defensive lines will give him trouble, so he's not going to be the kind of guy that's going to be like Javante Williams, who is that hammer of that offense. And there were some concerns after Michael Carr's pro day, where he was more quick than fast. You know, he's the kind of guy who can shoot through holes, he can get by you, and he can give you a lot of trouble in space, but he doesn't have that elite finishing speed. He's not going to go out there and run a 4-3 and blow by his defensive backs. So that's kind of the issue there. So there are some physical limitations, but again, shifting in open space, you get the guy out of the backfield, which I believe will be probably the Roy Phillips in this offense, gives Zach Wilson some easy targets there, similar to what I imagine the Jaguars are going to do with Travis Etienne, and Trevor Lawrence, obviously Etienne is more of an every down back. But with Michael Carter, you're going to be able to get some easy catches for Zach Wilson, hopefully get him in rhythm, and he will give you, I imagine, something similar to a James White type player. That's why I believe he will be in the NFL. Some very similar to James White, who has a lot of value. I mean, honestly, you can have guys like James White get over 1,000 yards from scrimmage in a year because they will run for 400 yards, but they have like 600 receiving yards. So I think this is a great move for the Jets to build some depth in that backfield and also give Zach Wilson a target he can rely on consistently out of the backfield.